Hello everyone, and welcome to our tutorial today. My name is Mutia Mamasheke. I'm a product manager in Azure Governance, and I'm excited to show you how you can use Azure Resource Graph to set up an alert on your resources um, using Azure Monitor. Let's get started. So over here, we can see that we have a portal experience set up. And what we're going to do is we're going to click the Azure Monitor icon there. We can also search for it in the search bar. And then from then on, we navigate to the Logs tab. Um, where we have a text box that allows us to enter a query that we can use to pull data from um, Azure Resource Graph. So for this query that we're going to um, create an alert based on, we'll select a log analytics workspace as the scope to execute the, um, the alert. And so what we're going to do is we're going to select um, our query where we will be pulling um, the resources that are in a non-compliant state from the Azure policy resources table in Azure Resource Graph. And so what we can see here is that running this query returns a list of all the resources we currently have in Azure policy that are in non-compliant state. So for those of us who are familiar with Azure policy, we know that um, for these kinds of scenarios, we want to make sure that we are always aware of the number of resources that are non-compliant so that we can find a way to um, mitigate uh, those non-compliant states. And so we can do that by setting up an alert that runs for a certain frequency that we specify, where um, for a certain number of um, resources that are in a non-compliant state, we should receive a notification about it. So we're going to navigate over here where new alert rule, and then um, from then on, we can see our search query uh, loaded up here. And so how we're going to set up this alert um, essentially um, is going to measure the number of table rows. Since every table row for the query we run represents a resource that is in a non-compliant state, we're going to count the number of rows or resources in non-compliant state. And we want to fire an alert if the value is greater than, let's say, 5 for our use case. Um, and we're going to set up the frequency of evaluation to be five minutes. Um, you can vary this depending on what value you feel uh, best suits you. And this um, will add, affect the estimated cost um, of running this alert. So next up, we're going to um, move on to actions, where we have action groups that we can select. Um, and for this use case, we'll just select the action group we have here that has an email assigned to it so that we can receive an email whenever this alert fires. Next up, we will go to the details page where we just select the scope um, to which we want to save the alert rule. So we're going to choose our desired um, subscription and the uh, corresponding resource group that we're looking for. Um, and then for the alert rule details, we can select the severity of the alert here um, for our use case, we want it to be an um, informational alert. So we're going to select severity level three, and then we're just going to say policy test alert for our name. Great. So then um, we want to give the alert the right permissions to execute. So we're just going to select um, a managed identity. In this case, we use a user assigned identity. And um, we're going to select um, our desired one from then on. And then we can move on to tags. We'll skip those, um, even though you can assign tags. We won't in this case, um, since this is just for the purpose of our demo. And we have summary information here. Everything looks good. So we're just going to select Create and go from there. So now we're going to wait five minutes just for our alert to run, but I'll skip the five minutes and just show you once we have a result so that you can get a much clearer idea on how alerts work. Okay, so we have this experience loaded up after clicking this alerts tab, um, where we can see all the list of alerts that have um, fired in the specified period of time. So I'll just look at this test policy alert that fired um, a couple of days ago that I just used as a test alert so that we can just see what it looks like when an alert fires. Um, 
So we have all the information here. The criteria is the same. Um, we can see that it's notified us that we have more than five resources in a non-compliant state, as specified earlier. Um, and uh, since we asked to be notified by email as well, um, there's a corresponding email that goes along with um, this alert in Porto. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching our tutorial, and we hope you have an exciting time using this feature. Take care.